we're off to a hot start. My dumbass left my GoPro on my hood and it just fell off. Let's see if this thing works. And she said she's fine if I cook a catfish in her parking lot as long as I give her some. Why are they missing? That look like a little. There it is. There it is. We are doing it, boys and girls. Here goes nothing. I don't have a fork, I'm sorry. I'm leaving in my truck. That's good. Is it actually? Or are you yeah. lying to me? No, it's good. It's good. I'm on the road again. I appreciate you. Stay tuned. Hell of a lot more to come. Let's see. Well, this started off interesting. Hopping on the road. Got two hours and 26 minutes to drive to the next lake. 1023. Should get there about one ish. Got the gas tank full. Got my belly full. Ate my dirty roadside catfish from the last video. Once again, go check it out if you haven't. I'll link it below. And uh, yeah, come along with me, you dirty stash bags. Let's drive for two hours and then catch some more fish to eat. Bye bye. All right, well, this is not the end destination, but uh, shout out to Taylor Vanis. Hopefully, I can catch a fish here. He pointed me in the direction of this glorious spilling way. It's way over there, you can't see it. Heard there's a lot of fish in here. It's moving water, it's pretty clean water. There's a spilling way. We need food, so let's catch some. Bye -bye. Little time update, 12.09. I think the first update was at 6.07, so we're six hours into this. I'm gonna fish longer than 24 hours, and I'm gonna be on the road longer than 24 hours, but yeah, we're shooting for at least 24 hours. But yeah, supposedly there's walleyes in here, a bunch of other stuff too, so. Let's see if we can't get nibbled on. All right, starting out with a uh, Half a jig, or a half a crawler. Half a jig, I'm an idiot. Starting out with half a crawler on a jig. These fine people next to me said they've been catching some walleye, so. Some walleye would be nice, especially after the last catch and cook at a gas station with a dirty catfish. Well, the action definitely ain't hot and heavy on this side. I'll give it a little longer. Looks like they're catching something. Little kitty cat. Let's try a straight retrieve towards the surface. See if we can't get a white bass. Even though I'd rather have a walleye. Beggars can't be choosers when you don't got any food. And I definitely don't have any food. So I need to catch some so I don't die. Oh, I screwed. Oh, I just had something big. Shit the bed. I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't paying attention, that's for sure. Well, there's fish here. Wasn't paying attention, I missed something big. Amateur hour. Let's try a big ass deep crank and try a blade bait and see what happens. No, I'm I think you've only gotten one and broke it off like two You both have got more than me. Let's give them the big meat. Big. Yeah, it's big. It's big too. Might have came off. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, I think it came off. Hammered it though. Maybe the big crank's the deal. I gotta land some of these. Damn giant crank. I thought I had the fish on the whole time. Well, in my defense, I thought it swung towards me. But whatever it was, it's pulling out line. That's all I know. We got him that time. It's big. Sure there's not wipers in here? Sure is, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It might be a wiper. I don't I don't even know what I got. <laughs> All I know is it's large. I'm starting to think it's a carp that's snagged. I don't know if this is dinner, but it feels good to hook something big. I don't think it's a walleye. <laughs> Might be a record walleye here. Nah, I'm 99% I'm sure it's a snagged carp. Most likely. Still fun though. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's a flathead. It's a flathead. Gigantic flathead. Yeah, it's in the tail, but. What's my line? Yeah, right there. Right there. That's a big one. Maggie? Yeah, he's, well, he's in the tail. Well, no, I'm not keeping him, but. Huh? I'm not keeping him. Oh, mine's big. <clears throat> That's all right. That's all right. I didn't, he wasn't even hooked in the mouth anyway. It was still cool though. Did you see the belly on that? Yeah, it was probably a 15 pounder, something. Where'd you even cast that at? He, I was, it was right in front of me. Huh. All right, well, couldn't ate him anyway because I didn't hook him in the mouth for one. For two, I probably wouldn't keep a big flathead anyway, but. They will eat crankbaits and there is a very small possibility Actually, a decent possibility that he actually tried to swipe at it, but I got something. I got something again. Next cast. All right, hopefully. No, this one was towards the surface, and this one, this one felt like it ate it. All right, let's get this in. I figured the big bait might get me bigger fish. I just need to, I really just need small fish is what I need. Yeah, well, we need uh, oh, what is that? Is that a big head carp? Why do I keep hooking stuff in the tail? Let's see if we can get a picture with this one just for fun. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I was excited, but I'm not really that excited. What's that? No, I'm gonna let him go. He's big, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, well, fish number two of the uh, catch or die tour is a uh, giant carp snagged in the ass. Cool, but we're not really doing what we intended to do. I need to change some things up so I can catch some food because I'm hungry, but still fun nonetheless. Big ass carp. <laughs> Damn canal whale. Yeah. Well, got to do better than that. Hopefully that one actually ate it. Yeah, I think this one actually ate it though. It feels a lot smaller. Third time. Big walleye, big walleye. Nice. Oh, get him in there. Nice. That's what we're after there, bud. Thanks for the net job. What's your name anyway? Julian. Nice to meet you, bud. That's that's what I'm going for, not snagging carp or flathead. <laughs> <laughs> I got extra crankbaits if you guys want some. I got like 85 of them in my truck. What do you think, 26? Oh, he's bigger than that. Is he? 27? This is a big male. Big male. 24. 24. Yeah. He looked much bigger, but... Now you can only have one, that's it. Okay. So what, there's three over 15, one over 22 or something? Yep, it says, my buddy said three over 15, one over 24, so I guess... That's, a nice fish. that's dinner, I suppose. Sweet. Winner, winner. All right, normally wouldn't keep a walleye this big, but as you know, I didn't bring any food. And killing this one walleye is going to save a lot of other walleyes, because that's going to be good meal for a while about 24 and a quarter inches so it's not super huge but it is pretty big and we're gonna old bud what's your name again julian julian gave me a stringer so i'm gonna throw him on the stringer i'm gonna keep fishing fish here for a while and then go set up camp somewhere and uh eat this big glorious walter head <laughs> about there you go dinner number one shout out to julian for the help now i'm not gonna die that's a big walleye. All right, well, I didn't think I'd run into this problem so early, but I probably have enough meat to get me through the rest of the day. I am gonna keep fishing because this is fun. And I got one big bite, hit a couple big fish, and it's all thanks to Six Sense C15. I don't have that much confidence in big, uh, big deep divers, but uh, 
yeah, this dude seems to be working. Discount code stash, 10% off. Almost took myself, but pow. What pound test you got on your pole? Uh, I think 15 braided. That'll work. What are you thinking? Mm, that one. There you go, bud. Right, thank you. Catch something. Grandpa wants himself a big one. So far, this has definitely been a pretty badass little spot. Shout out to Taylor Vanis and Jay Cammer for walking me through these western lakes because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never been here before and I've never been at any of the spots I'm gonna go to, so the fact that I'm doing so well is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Thought it was gonna be more of a struggle. Is it bad that part of me wishes it was a little bit more of a struggle? All right, well, this isn't exactly the best spot for cooking, just because it's sunnier than all holy hell. And I don't think I've mentioned this. I chose to do this 24 hour, only eat what you catch challenge on a day that it's 100 degrees outside. And then I chose to come over here and cook my walleye in the sun because look how majestic it is. Do a little time update. It's 2.22. Math is hard, but I believe I'm only about eight hours in. So, uh, still got plenty of time before I waste any more time, even though I have plenty of it. I'm gonna clean this fish. We're gonna cook half of it, save the other half. I got ice I can put it on, and uh, I guess save the other half for dinner. Nothing's going to waste, though. Enough rambling. Let's clean this SOB. Time for a little spilling way walleye kitchen cook. Definitely much larger than I would normally keep, but he's only like 24 and a half, and it sounds like there's plenty of them in here. Cut down the side for anyone who doesn't know. Cut down the spine. Stick it out the stink hole. Work the rest of the way down. By the way, I'm no expert at cleaning fish, so feel free to critique away. Any feedback is feedback in my book, positive or negative. I don't care what it is. You can say whatever you want to me. I'm tough. That is a lot of meat down on the skin. That doesn't look half bad. I know some people bleed them out and it looks like I probably should have done that. I'm also not an expert at getting the cheeks out, but I'm gonna try that too. Comment down below if there's a special way to get the cheeks out, because I've never done it before. All right. For those of you who watched my last video with the catfish, this looks and is probably gonna taste a hell of a lot better than the catfish did. We got one play off. I'm gonna clean the other side, but I'm an idiot. And I only brought two cameras for my, or two batteries for my big camera. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'll show you the cooking part though. Get it all cleaned up right where she came from. A little spillway water never hurt no one. My ass got soaked. All right, got a couple glorious looking fillets and a couple cheeks. I'm not gonna eat too much right now. We'll cut some of this off. This looks like a good enough piece for right now. I'm gonna put this on ice and I have to grab one more ingredient that I didn't grab yet that is crucial. It is literally the key ingredient to this operation. Stay tuned to find out what that ingredient is after this ad. The ingredients beer. I hope you're as excited as I am. Ah, oh, that's good. I don't even know if I need to turn this thing on, it's so hot. Spread the butter around. Is that all oiled up? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I think it's roasting. I'm gonna be sick of McCormick's and buttered walleye here by the end of this. That is looking good. Good. All right, walleye bud. Thank you for blessing me with your presence and pretty much guaranteeing that I'm not gonna die on this catch or die tour. I appreciate your lack of existence. I don't know. This is just getting kind of weird now. Sorry. This damn cutting board is gonna come in handy this trip. Thanks, cutting board. Yeah, sizzling. Buttery walleye. Right next to the spilling way. <clears throat> oh, pal. I think she's ready to rip. Some of the thick parts might not be as done as the skinny parts, but a little extra butter and McCormick's on there. 
You guys asked for it. You shall receive. Spillway, walleye, catch and cook, pa pow. All right, Stash fam, this is the end of another vid video on the uh, catch or die spillway no food eating survival fishing challenge tour. Spelled with O-O instead of O-U. Figured out. But I'm sitting here, my good old summer shandy, my good old big chunk of walleye. I'm gonna take a bite and then I'm gonna end this video. We already know this shit's gonna be good. Look at it. It's freaking seared and buttered and McCormicked. That's right, I said it. That might be the best damn fish I've ever ate in my life. And it's not because I'm starving. I've actually ate pretty well this trip. But my God, that is good. But anyway, if you like this video series, be sure to stay tuned to the next one and check out the last one. And also comment down below. Let me know if you like it. I can do more of these. I haven't been traveling much, but I can probably find a day to travel once a week or once every other week to do more stuff like this if you like it. So comment down below, spam that comment section. Let me know that you like it because this is a lot more work than my normal puddle fishing at home, but I'm enjoying it. Got a beautiful view, got a delicious fish, delicious beer, and got plenty more spots to try. That's exactly what I'm gonna do on the next video. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can, uh, so you know when I'm gonna post a video or something, you know? And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and stuff. Definitely appreciate you guys watching. Love y'all very much. I'm gonna finish eating my walleye, clean up, so nobody ever knew I was here. And uh, on to the next one. Pa-pow and stuff. Pow! Oh.